Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to a new, whole new Evil Space. Uh, yes, I've, it's been a while since I played. Uh, I've been waiting for an update that's been in the works for quite some time, and it's a good thing I did too, because uh, the whole game has more or less been changed. Uh, if you haven't been following it, there has been a, a lot of changes, a lot of additions, and a lot of hard work by the developer. Uh, I have been mining out some stone just to get some stuff ready. Uh, currently, I can't build anything, and that's because we do have research. Uh, if you haven't been following the development, I, developers are working on trying to get research into the game. And as you can see, we have a research tree here, so we have to research different things to... Uh, unlock different things. Uh, we'll get into circuits down the road there, but uh, all we do is go ahead and start. And these are just. Well, there's been a few changes to the research tree. These used to actually have a research cost, but now we can actually research these uh, in our inventory. And we research that and research this. This is. Oh, sorry, you've got to reclick it, but uh, mineral scan. This allows us to actually build the furnace, bricks, create sand, and gravel. Go ahead and research that. This will get a smelting, metalworking, and some other free stuff. Now, there's different things we can get, like basic computations. Uh, these we actually have to use a computer for. Uh, the computer is also. We'll bring up the recipe for this. Uh, well, I should bring up the recipe for this. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, this is a little confusing because this is where things get in, but there are different types of research points that you can get computations. Uh, these are just basic, you don't need any input. And then you have advanced computations where you need at least a circuit, like a basic circuit. Then there's a quantum circuits, processors, advanced circuits, and different things you can make to get higher tier stuff, which allows you to unlock all sorts of new and interesting parts that we have. Uh, still in development, so there's, there's going to be a few updates as we play through, but uh, that is fine. So uh, let's go ahead and finish up whatever research we can and start getting some stuff going. Uh, heat conversion. Um, we'll Go ahead and start researching that. Uh, so far, what I can tell is the exclamation points basically lead you the pr progress of the research and like how to progress through the things. More or less, you know, uh, flywheel, for instance, uh, is a new thing to store kinetic energy, and that's something I haven't used yet. I've done a little bit of playthrough, got myself up to steel, and decided, well, that's enough. I gotta save the rest of the videos, so I'm gonna do whatever free stuff I can now. So from here on in, I can't actually research this. I could go ahead and research this, but I don't have the basic computations, which I need the computer for, which needs power and kinetic energy and all the fun stuff. Uh, another one he's done too, is he's given us a map and it now shows ore deposits, which we can use with auto mining, which is gonna come in handy. Uh, there's different types of resources that we get. get. There is a scanner we can make down the road that allows us to scan different ore deposits. Uh, let me zoom out here. Uh, procedural map generation, as always. Uh, it's still somewhat of a work in progress. I'm sure there'll be many changes and updates to it, but you can see our different deposits. We've got our coal, copper here. Uh, there's oil in the game now. Um, I think that's hydrogen. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll get into the mining process eventually. First, we got to work, work our way through copper. So I have a nice little spot here on a beach somewhere. Uh, full of holes because I've been digging. And yes, there is some... Uh... Oh. oh! I was wondering about the water. That's the water table for you. It doesn't go all the way to the, to the land, so that's good. Uh, so we are going to need some copper. I also got to do a cut here to figure out what I was doing. And that's going to be looking for copper because I can't do anything else until we start getting a uh, computer going. All right, so there is a little bit of copper here. I don't know how far down this goes. Don't know if we're going to get much out of it. Probably not. Uh, I do know that there is copper here. Uh, but these nodes show you what you can pick up at the auto miner. The auto miner is something we have. You can drop it anywhere. It'll give you any type of stone that you want. But you place it in these locations, and that'll get you the copper there, or the coal there, or uranium, or the iron, and other interesting things out there. Uh, by the way, we have fusion reactors down the road. That'll be fun. Uh, so I'm going to have to look around for some copper, I guess. I guess could go caving, but I always get lost and all that stuff. Uh... Definitely look, looks nice. Can't wait till we get factories in here. Anyway, I shall return. Okay, I'm back. I got a couple of stacks, picked up, picked up some 
picked up some wood along the way. And I know there's two of them. We swim very interestingly in the water. I'm trying to dig sand up from a little pond and like sort of floating everywhere. It's almost like I was too buoyant. I think I'd be, well, then again, though, I'm carrying a lot of wood, so that could be it. Uh, where was my home? Home is over there. Uh, I've been thinking about where I want to set up. Originally, I was going to set up here, but I, was, I kind of want to use the water to my advantage as like a building area. Uh, by the way, little white areas let you know where there's entities. Which I actually thought that was an interesting idea, and pretty sure the colors just have to do with biomes. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I'm thinking because we don't really need the coal because we can make coal. We'll get into that pretty soon, but I think we might probably set up around here somewhere, just because again. All right, uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, because I always see these pictures of like these nice structures that are out in the middle of the water and not touching, well, more or less bridging out the land, but that might actually be a smart idea. Interesting idea. Let's see what we have around here. We've got a lot, maybe. Maybe we'll go on this side here and cover up the bay. I have made some bricks. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, something else he's done too. I don't know if this is intentional or if maybe something you know, he wants to look at. Uh, but you can actually use items from your inventory just by left clicking on it. Once you click on it, you can go ahead and place the block. But then just click in your inventory again to, to unuse it. Uh, it doesn't have to actually be on your hotbar. So it's kind of like a quick usage kind of idea. Anyway, uh, let's do that. And we can build in lines now. Now, it's kind of interesting, when the side that you come off, it'll build off on that side. And you just point at the ground at how far you want to go down. So if I go there... Oh, I actually have to... Oh, and I placed one too many, but that's fine. It's stone. I can go up here. Yeah, uh, terrain generation needs a bit of work. Uh, a good chance everything will get wiped out but there we go we can build actually build in lines so that's pretty nice so i'm gonna build up a little platform here i'll probably have to build some more bricks and i'll bring you back actually what we'll do first uh oh, what i'll do is i'll get something copper smelted and bring you back oh yes a few other additions and you'll see this as we go along as uh, there has been a lot of model uh well, basically every model in the game has been redone from what I've seen. Uh, but he's added a new way to rotate items. If you hold the right click, it works like the screwdriver when you go and place it. So you just hold the right mouse button, you click over here, and then it rotates it. And then rotates it. You can flip it upwards or downwards or whichever. And uh, he made the notes a little more visible too. But anyways. Okay, so I've got enough to get us going. I uh, set up a couple of... Three, di three different furnaces, three different dryers, uh, or smelters. I want to get some glass going because we need the glass panes for the computer. Uh, we're going to need a few computers. Uh, trust me, we will. And then I got two of them for the copper. So what we're going to need is we're going to need another furnace for now. Uh, eventually, we'll be able to get a heat network going, and that's what's one of the interesting things about the game. And then we have a sterling, ge sterling generator, which just generates heat to kinetic energy. And then we also have a compact generator, which converts energy or kinetic energy into electricity which we need for the computer so we'll go ahead and make all these and then while that's going uh we'll check the rest of this uh, we have to make sure that these don't fill up uh these ones in particular can only hold six in the output uh there are limitations he has added to things in the game and we'll see how it turns out anyways uh we are almost done so let's go ahead and set up over here uh i was gonna mine some stone but we'll probably get that out of mine eventually so we'll place furnace down here uh, we'll add a sterling generator on top uh, that's not what I want to do uh, as you as you can see there are now different nodes there's an orange node that shows and that's for the heat yellow is kinetic and blue is electric electrical all right so we have put that there and then we put the compact generator and just gotta make sure they have the yellow actually facing and yes R does still rotate things and then we put the computer on the end of there. And line up the two blue nodes, and we are good to go. All right, so put some fuel in. I'll have to get some wood going soon. So then you can see the recipes. So the, the advanced computations can be made with all the circuits. That's the, the tier ones. Uh, the tier twos can be made with all except the basic. And the tier three can only be made with the top tier three. The, Tier 2 can be made with those, and 
Uh, yeah, then the ultimate computations can be made with the quantum processor, which is a rabbit hole. Uh, yeah, you made a processor and two quantum circuits, or you can use an assembler to do it with one and one. But then you, you know, you get into this and this and this and fun stuff. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start making that. So this will generate up to 30 is what it can hold the basic computations. And that allows us to actually start doing stuff. Now we'll go ahead and follow the progression here. So we'll go ahead and start researching this. And oh, it's already done because we've already generated some. Uh, it'll keep it a buffer here and then it'll get used up right away in the research. So we're generating that. Let's see. I uh, don't care about the steam pack. I want to worry about getting into uh, the mining. Uh... Oh, heat transfer. Yes, that's the next step. As you can see by the excavation park, but it's also a really good thing to get. Uh, we'll get the radiator and we'll get the, the heat pipe, which as you can see, uh, conducts heat energy and works as a, a heat buffer. So that's good. So that is going to be more copper there and more in there. It does hold two in there too as well for some reason. All right, now this is going to take me a minute or two. So... Uh, let me finish up a few things and I'll be back. Okay, I'm just out collecting wood right now and the f this research is, research is gonna be done here in just a second. So there we go. So we got the heat transfer. So the next one I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna do a few of these while I'm out here is, of course, we're gonna go into the arms and we'll keep going on this until I run out of fuel. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so yeah, we are just about done the next one. As you can see, I picked up a whole bunch of wood. Uh, I'm actually gonna be turning this into coal in a minute. Alright, so that is done, so that unlocks, as you can see, uh... Oh, I don't know if it unlocked anything, but yeah, so we got, uh, more stuff. So we got the assembler, we have the mining rig, which is... Yeah, what we're going for. So the mining rig is 384, so this is gonna take a little while. We're gonna go ahead and do that, and in the meantime, I am gonna... Get this out, because the first is stop if they're full, or the smelters, I should say. Take that out, and now I want to go ahead and I think we have to wait. Might as well explore this while we're at it, since uh, well, since we're here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these furnaces out. And we'll take this one out too, just because we can, because it's not going to use the heat unless we're actually using it. And you know what? Let's put it in the floor, just because I, I like having the stuff on the floor. Like now, let me take these out, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I took everything out. Uh, it's a little dark, so keep that in mind. Or, uh, not dark. I made it morning. Uh, so it'll take a, few, a minute for the sun to come up. And what I'm going to do is make a whole bunch of heat pipes. And I do have to put a heat source somewhere that I can access. And I think... I really don't want to take that brick out. I think, I think we'll put the furnace down here. Uh, I can still access it because the heat pipes aren't that big. Can I not place it? Oh, I wasn't selecting it. Uh, yep, yeah, put it here. And the heat pipes will be done in just a minute. Uh, was there any other changes that I can uh, ramble on about while I wait on this? Um, yes, water. The atmospheric condenser is now sort of a... A bigger machine. It's uh, three by three. Oh, it's not a. I should say there is an atmosphere condenser. It's not a uh, water collector like it used to be. Uh, if you've played Astroneer, it's similar to the atmosphere condenser in that game, except it doesn't do gases. It does liquids. All right. So we do have our heat pipes. So this is what we do. We take our heat pipe, and I click. Don't shift click. And it's basically. Uh, you can call it a power wire for heat. So we do that, we take our smelters, we put our smelters on top, and what this does is it connects to the bottom and puts heat into the bottom of it. And then we can do the same thing with the sterling generator. Make sure I got facing the right way, I can go ahead and place the power generator on the end. So there is clouds. I was wondering about that. I think yeah, that's some uh, weather enhancements to the game too. So there we go. So all I have to do is just power one furnace, and I can actually heat up three different things. Well, as you can see, this will have heat. 
this will have heat. That'll have heat if I put something in there. Uh, I'll just smelt some more glass just because. And, oh yeah, so let's just start researching. And then I'll start using the power. Now, this is where the efficiency comes in because this heat in this furnace, for instance, is generating 5.5 kilowatts off of one lock or kilowatts of heat energy. Sort of. Uh, the furnaces, well, the smelters are using 5.5. So I basically need one to one on this sort of scale. But if I upgrade that or add a different fuel, for instance, coal. Coal will actually produce. Let's get into the recipes here. Oh my god, we are lost. No. Uh, there we go. Uh, over 20 seconds will generate 11.01. And you can see the overall recipes will. What is that? Oh, there's actually peat in the game. There's peat, there's logs. Uh, he still has the stone logs in here, but they take longer to burn. They're actually worse than they were. And then you can burn planks as well. But you can also get any coal coal and stuff like that and I think uh, the higher tier produces it faster or more efficiently I'm not 100% sure but I know higher is better but I do know that we're not going to produce enough heat with what I've got so let's go ahead and we should be able to start researching something else no because I don't have the power uh, let me be right back oh yeah I'm also show you this too because I accidentally clicked on it uh, there's uh, all pipes and wires and heat pipes for instance have GUIs that allow you to see their actual output and usage so the production is 5.5 kilowatts coming off that one furnace and the consumption is 5.5 because that's all we have to supply I've taken these out to hopefully get this to actually run properly and you can see the red is the actual access the blue is uh, the actual consumption so we are producing an excess amount of uh, excess amount of power but it keeps the research going uh, that's just because I only have one furnace running off of wood instead of coal. And I can demonstrate that by taking that out. And as soon as it burns through that log, this will generate to 1100, 1100 watts at the same speed. Same amount of time. So it's producing more heat, same amount of time with the coal. And then if I go into coal coke, then that produces 650. And I like the effects he's added, where he's got the, uh, the heat waves and if you got enough heat or enough transfer I think the pipes actually well the, I know the pipes are transferring or glowing I just don't know what it is but yeah he's got all the statistics in there and everything so that is still researching away and I'm gonna keep plugging away so I'll be back okay I'm almost done here I uh, added a few more furnaces down below there because I wanted to uh, get a little more efficient with the wood that I had I uh, get a few of these actually going, so as you can see, now we're generating, six, I'm generating 16.6, .6 and I'm using 17.2. How am I using more than I'm using? I have no idea. I wonder if it's uh, including the power, too. I don't know. Anyways, uh, yes, research is complete. So go ahead, and we'll start the next one. I was trying to figure out where the... Coke oven it was, it's actually in behind basic machines, so that's where we get the uh, the coke oven and the blast furnace. So we'll start researching that one, that's going to be a short one, and it had a bit of a buffer. And uh, so, let's see, now we can go ahead and actually make one of these. So we're going to make a mining rig, we are going to make a sterling generator, and we're going to make a furnace. Um, You know what, I'm going to make two, two, two of those then. I do have the heat pipe, so I can come off of one of them. I will need a second sterling generator for the miner. And we'll get this going while we wait for the research. Uh, go ahead and check our fuel down below here. Half a stack in each, so we should be good. And make sure i got room in the inventories, because these will stop. I don't actually have chests yet, so I can't actually don't have anywhere to place them. i got robotic arms, there's nothing for them to put them in. in it. Nothing for them to put them put stuff into. Okay, so we're down there. Hmm. That means I'm gonna have to run a lot of stuff all the way over here. I shouldn't set up over here. All right, well that's fine. We'll set up here then. Or let me think of this for a sec. I've committed to conveyors. So I'm going to set up down here and we're going to bring everything over to the base and expand all the way out in this big expansive ocean which you can't mine in anyways. 
I'm sure you can play, probably drop a mine under underwater. I don't think it's going to matter. All right, so we are going right up on the top of the hill here. This looks, it looks like a good spot. It doesn't matter if we put it there or not, as long as we are in the general vicinity. Now, I'm not sure how many we can actually place down in an area and still pick up the same deposit, but we're going to do this way. Home is that way. So as long as I have the output of the, con the conveyor output on this side, we're good. So as you can see, there is an input, three, uh, three kinetic inputs, which don't seem to really affect anything. And then there's the one conveyor output. I'm gonna actually turn these on because I like it when they're lit up. It gives it a nice little touch. So all we have to do is place a sterling engine on, and then we place a furnace underneath it. And we'll have to make sure to come out here and place fuel in here. All right, and we go ahead and do that. And let's see what we have here, resources. So we can get copper. That's just because it's on the map here. But the stone, the limestone, redstone, dark stone, and granite, you can all get from basically, as far as I know, any spot you drop the miner. So I'll go ahead and place the copper down, um, select the copper. That's going to do its thing. And I don't have chests. Oh, research is done. All right, so we need storage. Storage, please. Go ahead and research that. That was a free one. I don't know why I didn't do that, or maybe it wasn't a free one. And then uh, what is going to be the next drawing? So we can start making coal. And then after that, uh, we'll do the automatic farming. All right, so we have storage now. So I can go ahead and make a stone chest. Don't ask me how you make a stone chest, but I can. Hey, I'm going to need a conveyor as well. Uh, let's actually make a couple. Because I want to show you something that's changed about, about them. We'll go ahead and we'll place it. He's put directional arrows, arrows so you can see which way it's going. And as you can see, there's a peg to let you know which way is the bottom. Now, I'm only going to place one here. And I love the models on them. Now, the conveyors are different. They, they do have a GUI now, so you can actually they hold two items each you can actually take items right off the conveyor so that was an interesting one you can also place items in it onto the conveyor that, that way as well all right so then i was just going to place a chest at the end here for now and we are good to go that's going in getting copper ore coming out and it's just going to keep on pumping it out until it runs out of fuel all right so uh what i wanted to show was actually what's different about the conveyors um, I keep shift click shift clicking, I don't know why. Uh, let's actually see if they pull out. No, they don't. You still need the arm to go out. But we don't have junctions anymore. They create their own junctions. And I can show you this by... Rotate it back this way. Rotate up. Now I place an up, uh, up conveyor to get a junction. Now currently there is only junction mergers, we'll call them. Where the conveyors all merge into one output. Uh, there is talk about getting into uh, different types of splitters and mergers and stuff like that, but we'll see how progress goes. All right, so that is producing copper. So I'm going to meet you back at the base. Actually, while I'm on my way, let's go get some more research going. All right, so that is done. So the next thing I want is automatic farming. I'll start that. Then what we're going to have to do is get into the automatic condenser. And, and now for all things that require fluids we actually need a pump now, i don't need if you don't know if you need a pump in and a pump out uh like both lines like if you have a tank going to a machine going to another tank if you need a pump in and a pump out on both lines for instance where am i going i'm going the wrong way i'm going over here i might have to reset the, the home position so i don't get lost I'm sure, give me a week and you won't be hard to get lost around here, I guarantee that. Anyway, enough rambling. There you go, that's what I was talking about, the, the heat pipes. The pipes actually glow and I I love that touch. Now, from what I've heard, there is actually heat loss over length. So if you have a long enough length the pipe, you will lose some. I don't know if it actually shows the efficiency here. Uh, probably not in here enough resources for oh it actually tells you how long it'll run for too that is cool hmm i'm sure there is somewhere i just don't know where it is anyway anyway just as i cut research finished 
All right, so that we have the farms, and now we get the atmospheric condenser. Now, what this is going to do is this is all going to work up to uh, having a self-sustaining power system. Our first one, anyways. And the sun's going down. Yes, I'm going to use that for recording purposes. We have a bed, but we can't actually sleep in it, which is sad and unfortunate. Okay, so what have I put unlocked so far? I have... Let's get the coke oven going. Perfect. Uh, I do need to get some stone down. I was actually going to build another miner. Let's actually do this instead. Uh, just so I have a brick. In fact... I want to see if I can actually leech off this power grid here. Or this heat network, I should say. Why not? Uh, I don't think I have enough room for that. Let's find out. Pick that out. Uh, do I have enough heat pipes? I do. Uh, one. Thank you. That, that. And make sure I'm holding the generator. Or the engine. Okay. And come on, get that out. Yes. Resource, and we're just going to get this stone. So I have all the bricks in the world. It makes the conveyor and stuff. Uh, but anyways, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few a few other things. I'll research a few other things. Uh, one is the atmospheric condenser. The next one is going to be the pump because we'll need the pump. Then after that, we should be good to finish up the episode. So I'll meet you then. Okay, I am back. So yeah, I got uh, some more copper done. I got pretty much all the research done that really want to get done at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll probably start on one of the bigger ones, like the steel production, get the blast furnace going. As you can see, that's going to take uh, uh, 640 of those, however long it's going to take. I don't know. Uh, it depends on how fast this one does it. So it does 10 in 10 seconds. So one at one a second. So it's going to take about 11 minutes. Uh, I do have about a stack of stone. So it's good to make some more bricks. I'll probably get that going through a assembler eventually. But with that now, let's see, uh, oh yeah, we can get the farm going now too, because I do have that unlocked. So we'll make one farm, we'll make an automatic condenser, and the automatic condenser, as you can see, requires kinetic input, so we're going to need a sterling engine. And then we are going to need a pump too, which would be under logistics. Make one pump. I think what else I need? I need a, I need a heat source for the, the, the furnace. Uh, I'm going to eventually have to get some sort of heat network going, but we'll probably put this somewhere else for now. Uh, I'm wondering if maybe I should just go ahead and... Yeah, cause if we take the logs, we can put the log into a coke oven, and it'll get us coal. Or 10 logs for 10 coal. If we take the 10 coal, we can put it into a coke oven again, and we get 10 coke for the same amount of time. Uh, the burn length on the coal is actually, or the coke is actually significantly more. Go back to here. Uh, so, yeah, one wood gets you five and a half kilowatts in 20 seconds. One coal gets you 11 kilowatts in 20 seconds. And one coke gets you 16.6. .6. So it is technically a more efficient fuel source. And with the farm set up, it's actually a renewable source. So what we'll do is uh, I'm actually make some more bricks and expand the platform. Okay, I am back. So, uh, let's go ahead and we'll start with the farm. Now, the farm is going to be going into two coke ovens. I do have to make a second coke oven. I just realized that. And I am missing stone. Oh, what do you know? I have stone right here. Make another coke oven. Uh, it's good I got that stone going because I'm going to need a lot of it. All right, um... Uh, well, I want to... Well, I'll be moving this anyways. Doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll start with the farm first. So the farm has uh, water... Water output. Oh, that's not showing the kinetic. That's right, that's a bug. Uh, the kinetic was on this side. Or was it? Hmm... Oh, no, no, this does not need a kinetic input. This is right. This just needs a water input. I swear I've played this game before. Just not this version. 
Alright, oh uh, yeah, farm. Uh, water input, uh, where do I put the thingamabobber? Let's do it over here, because I need the heat source, which is over here anyways. So we'll put that there where it's not in the way, even though it's going to be. And then we will just go straight up into two coke ovens. So we'll need a robotic arm to go through. And I'm just trying to center. Is that a 4x4? Four four? It is, okay. Alright, so one one coke oven there. Another coke oven there. I will need to make two robotic arms. Should be in logistics. One, two. And while those are crafting, we'll go ahead and place our atmosphere condenser down. This is a nice big boy here. Probably, I don't think we're going to actually go right into it. I think we actually have to use a pump, which is going to be right here. And the pump looks like the water water collector it just pumps the water from in here. As you can see, different recipes you can get water, oxygen, nitrogen, helium, methane, and hydrogen. But we're going with water, and as you can see, we need kinetic energy. And apparently it's getting kinetic energy from somewhere, I just don't know where. Alright, the kinetic energy spot is over here, so we'll go ahead and grab our sterling engine. Place you right there. And... Let's make a few more heat pipes. I'm going to be moving all that anyway, so I think for the time being I'm just going to put a furnace here. That's all we really need until we can get the fuel going. Um, um, I'm having one of those moments, yes. Alright, so it is going to be generous water at a very slow rate, which will go into here and select the recipe. There is no wood bamboo farms anymore, sadly. Doesn't mean we can't have a million bubbles producing wood or pumpkins. Uh, same thing, pumpkins get used to make uh, methane or organic mass. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go straight into wood, so the automatic farm is growing us logs. Which will get pulled out by our new robotic arms. Uh, we'll place one there, and I'll place this one here, and I'll show you what's different about them. Uh, Q, yes. So as you can see, there's different arrows. The flat area shows you its input side, and uh, arrow, the actual arrow tip shows you its output side. Uh, they have a GUI now, so you can actually select what side it goes to. So you can have it pull out here and come out this on the left, or the right, or directly straight forward, which I'm going to do in this case. Uh, there is quite an interesting animation. Um, don't know if I can demonstrate this. That's going to take a while. This will take a while, too. Uh, it'll take 100 seconds, too. So, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when that's about ready to go. Okay, it's almost done here, and so is the research. What's going to finish first? Uh, let's actually check the fuel, see if the re research has got a fighting chance. Uh, I have a feeling the logs are going to be first, but that's fine, because I actually need the fuel. Alright, and there we go. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. There's, uh, there's this thing, at least with the... Sorry, uh, at least with the, this tier of robot, maybe it's the robot, maybe it's the coke oven itself, but uh, it only puts enough in to actually complete the recipe. So if I had more than 10 in there, so it wasn't putting any in. But as you can see, he's completely reworked them and gave them a nice, really fancy little animation, which is really cool. I do like it. And so, yeah, so that's coming out as coal and it's going into here and it's going to come out as coal, coke dust. Or, Coke. Coke pieces, we'll call it, because I don't want anybody thinking that's anything different. And that's basically given us endless fuel. Uh, the fuel that comes out of here is going to eventually go into powering the kinetic energy, or creating the kinetic energy for the atmospheric condenser, which, condenser, which is going to grow us our logs, which is our limitless fuel source. But anyways, I know I'm running along on this one. I think we'll call it here. Uh, the next one, we'll start getting into a little more production. We do have... Our research going, so we got our steel. Uh, we've got the lights too. He has them, to, has it so they turn off at night now too. So that's pretty good. Or turn off during the day. Uh, but as you can see, we're gonna have to start making some advanced computations fairly soon once we start getting to the steel line, and th that's where we start getting into researching circuits. As you can see, different circ 
different circuiteers get you as many, so many of these. And these are relatively cheap to make, just a circuit board and copper wire, and a circuit board is a plank. That's about it, but we'll probably get into some assembler work and some automation and probably a, a sufficient heat grid. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.